Blaze Blue Entropy Effect is all about trying to make the best looking fighting game character in a roguelike possible. So this is day one, Jin Kisaragi. I did not even press a button. It's already showing us hotness. Hey, he has ice. Lady, I have no idea what you're saying. Okay, a little bit of a launcher. Wave attack. Air wave. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Launcher into multi slash. Oh. Oh, that was the ulti. How many ultis does Jin have? Okay, so rend. Multi rend and exterminating rend. I'll see if we can run this. Hey yo, what's this game? This is Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. It's an action roguelike with Blaze Blue characters. Arxis and Act Act 91, I think is the dev name. And they've done some action games before. I don't think any that showed up on this stream. Oh snap! Oh wait, I can't. I don't think I can kill these. Typically, I would use some kind of legacy skill to reach up there. That's going to be really bad. We might not get the 15 kills. Um, so yeah, it's an action roguelike with Blaze Blue characters, but the actual roguelike portion is all about building out your fighting game character. Yeah, ain't no way. Without a legacy skill that reaches up. Wow, I'm gonna actually die to the basic mob. Um, large blade ring. Really, we wanted to see skill Ren sooner rather than later. Alright. Potential! This is where you start to build out your fighting game character. Not gonna lie, this was extremely entertaining. It's just the up square. I feel like it's kind of worthless. Until you get the skill version. But like, it's a great way to apply a multi hit attack. Oh, you can up square out of this. It's kind of cool. On the road, where you going? All right, got a long way to go to get our health back. Double blade ring. I, I'm going to take it. So for those who haven't seen, not only are we doing the actual like fighting game portion, there is a roguelike in here where we're picking up power ups called tactics, which is set up in a pick three, like a Hades. Um, and there are duos. So you really do want to path towards some kind of duo if possible. Doesn't necessarily have to be from two different families. Um, like going up a tree gets you sort of to legendary status if you want to think about Hades terms. First boss already? Only eight chambers? I feel like I have no damage. It's a very familiar feeling. Huh. It's really not a hard fight. It's just like that attack looks like one of his other attacks to me. That. Oh my god, that was above it. 
You can use Blade Ring two times in a row. Oh, but that's not the summon. It's one summon, but the summon has like two hits. Got it, got it. Oh, invulnerable. Maybe I shouldn't be doing the Earl Grey. It's like I'm not allowed to. I'm not good enough. I might be better off just assuming every attack that's charging up is the dash. Price at reach. I can read it. Think that I could come over here and fight. It's got one more dash. Wow, that didn't kill. All right. <laughs> I didn't lose my death defiance. Um, Heaven Flower. Start powering up. I think this thing sucks, though. Seeks enemies in a large range. I swear this thing sucks. Like, I think... I think you do this. And, like, maybe that connects, but I have a sneaking suspicion it doesn't reach. And for some reason, to me, the damage is absolutely abysmal. I could just be doing normal attacks. Alright, we'll assume that that's what the game wanted me to have. Alright, uh, we have no money. Um, hmm. Don't need the heal. Should be fine. Most potentials need synergies to pop off. I don't know if we've seen a synergy completed with this thing yet. I believe, though. I'm just, you know, I'm a little skeptical. Kill 50 enemies to proceed. That's fun. Yeah, I don't really know the point of up slash when you don't have the synergy for it. Oh my god. Oh, that aims up? It's interesting. The flies. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, we... So I've seen a lot of this. I don't know if the Rend is going to show up. I think I'm actively trolling myself right now. It seeks enemies, but you can jump and slash instead. Oh, wow, I was reading chat. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. So it must be some tech to it that we just haven't seen yet. You can cancel it early. That's one thing I haven't been doing. Please get me out. Okay. 
It's like sometimes I'll bait myself into holding it when I could have easily just uh, done the attack prematurely. Okay, these have to die. Sort of like that. Like, I think if I did the full hold, I would have gotten hit. The blade ring is like kind of fun. All right, potential. Crap, dice, skip, rest. You have to if you get potential. All right, extra dashes, skill freeze, non skill moves can also slow enemies. We have no skill tech yet. Interesting, we haven't gotten any damage. Getting a lot of enemy buffs. Take you out. Getting pelted. Pretty good so far. 300 damage! Yeah, so I'm down to 30 seconds. Because of the timer. I'd say if we can keep good damage up, maybe we'll be okay. There we go. I don't know how much time I had left. All right, um, skill puncture. It's not Ren, but it might lead into Ren tech later. Um, high entropy slash corruptions is good for half of the events. So you're saying that um, some of these you won't want to have high entropy. Or some of those fight encounters. Like for example, if you're fighting against kill 50 enemies. Maybe having all of those might be kind of rough. Compared to, here's a timer, just survive. The fact that, that doesn't kill, that's like nasty. Puncture doing good damage. So, for those who haven't seen, not only are we doing the actual, like, fighting game portion, there is a roguelike in here where we're picking up power-ups called Tactics, which is set up in a pick three, like a Hades. Um, and there are duos. So you really do want to path towards some kind of duo if possible. Doesn't necessarily have to be from two different families. Um... Like, going up a tree gets you sort of to legendary status, if you want to think about Hades terms. So even, like, getting to legendary is really nice. Oh, wow, you can bounce that thing around? I haven't been using my summon. All right. As long as you rest right before the boss. Yeah, we were failing doing that. I think that was giving us a lot more deaths than I really should have had. Like, I shouldn't need to rest here because I should not go to 200. I don't think we can run this because we aren't freezing. Actor Assault doesn't sound smart. So right now we're using Fubuki and Sekajin. This does buff Sekajin. 
Later, not yet. So we still have a little ways to go. Third potential is smart. Sometimes I struggle doing the um the rhythm. I was always really bad at this fight. I feel like they they changed this fight at some point. I think when they change when you find this boss, but I can already tell you this is much easier than the last time I fought it. So it seems like they may have nerfed it. Unless there's a phase two, then we're in trouble. But this used to be the hardest boss in the game. Tree of Origin. It just had like this constant pressure and constant attacks from every direction. Crystal Strike. New dash move. I've not used it yet. We're not doing the best job at um picking out the right things at all times. Okay, so this is my new dash. Um, it is completely different than the dash I had before. Um, we can attack out of it, which does that, which looks really, really cool. Um, and then I don't know if we have actual synergies on it just yet. When riding Icicle to charge forward, you slow enemies. And what, that's it so far? I mean, it's cool. It's a gap closer. Sort of like that. Oh my god. Oh. What a useless attack. It actually went past the enemy. The dash attack is doing something. But yeah, that's like the really exciting part about this game is now you have like this entirely different dash attack and like that might actually change how you play. Fire Pursuit. We are not doing fire. Thunderbolt. Definitely not Thunderbolt. I... I need to start looking for other stuff, I think. Oh! If we found it. Oh, wait. That's going to kill our skill puncture. Hang on. Puncture may show up later. I say don't think about it. Just hit the button. Ooh, my God, that feels good. That just kills. Oh, the reach. Check it out. Doesn't really work on this thing. <laughs> it's like a Smash Brothers launcher. It's like Marth in the air. Basic attack puncture. This does not work with Ren. It does. Okay, yeah, we're chilling. 
Alright, so yeah, this is me hunting for a duo. I'm fine for a little bit longer. Kill 60! Oh my god, that had iframes. Uh, I like that. Uh, event me? Combat, this game looks really satisfying. It is. And I feel like I'm actually... Ooh, I have full health pots. That rarely happens. Like, I love when I can show off this game. Okay, I take 70. I will have to hit another rest, though, because I highly doubt I'll be able to get to the boss without hitting 200. Um, synergy that enables Dimension Slash. Okay, so next time we see potentials, we'll have to take a look, see if we can finally buff this. Dang. The fact that I can redirect this, really nice. I don't have enough. We'll do the Gamba. I could have done another training. Sick. Oh. <laughs> Upon impact with an enemy inflicted with Ren, Shadow Puncture instantly triggers all damage. Should be very, very easy to get this off. I haven't been using my Blade Ring like I should be. It's another one. Oh no, it wasn't enough. All right. Or Gamba. I'm not seeing monsters do much though. In that scenario, I was in a good spot damage wise. Because that was like kill 60 monsters during like a specific time period. So in that case, the game like is actively giving me trash mob, I, I should say. Um, but there are definitely more sophisticated monsters than those. Enemies with Shadow Mark take more Umbra damage, but that does not include their own Shadow Mark. This doesn't really help for the bosses. I may not have really needed it for the biome either. Gotta rest. It does include its own Shadow Mark rip? Really? Okay, this should be fine for us. I don't really have damage in the air. Wow, just barely got over that. That doesn't reach! Oh, it reaches now. That's sick. That's huge. Not today. Oh, I still got hit by it. Wow. But yeah, I love how you can like use your attacks to get over enemies. It's like you do this and you're roguelike, guaranteed I'm playing it. Oh wow, that was bad. Or inefficient, rather. Alright, another ad phase? No, tentacle phase. 
I'm watching the arm in the background. I'm not watching for the actual wave. Bro, a button. I'm gonna have to use a health pot. I'm, I have full health pots, so it's fine. Whoa! That was sick. Did that too early? I'll say more missiles are still coming. Alright, so much better than when that boss was first released. Okay, so... We have Ice Fang again. We have Ulti, which I don't think we can do. And I highly doubt we can do the um, parry here. Even though it does lead to like a lot of stuff. So we'll pick up the Ice Fang for now. Eventually, Sekajin is buffed. We're like one potential away from having like something competitive in there. Non-skill moves can freeze enemies on hitting them. The shock waves of Ice Fang in the air are larger. Uh, when riding the ice, and upon unsheathing and slashing with the inertia, you also freeze enemies. That's like a weird way to to say that. If we see it freeze, then it probably works. It's like they they had a lot of words in there that were probably unnecessary. Still alive? In the world? Oh yeah, we got the speed now. And once I actually start pressing R1, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> Speed run mode? Alright. Also, again, for people who haven't seen this game, I have maybe like 20 hours in the game right now. But this is early access. I would say this is early access patch 3. Which is like humongously different than early access day 1. So really like more characters is really the only thing I'm looking for. Maybe like additional final biome would be really interesting. Alright, so this should work. Rend hits multiple times. So I'm going to assume that when Rend hits the first time, the next Rends do more. I need 40 more dollars. More biomes for more difficulty. I wouldn't want the run to be any longer. Because I feel like that's going to be difficult for um the dev. I think that's going to maybe have like a negative impact on people's enjoyment. Like not people who have been playing the game for the whole time, but especially for like a 1.0 release. I feel like these are what I call long form action roguelites. The longer the long form action roguelike, I think the worse it performs from a review standpoint. And it's not to say that the future is 20 minutes till dawn, because it's definitely not. Yeah, expand sideways. I think that'd be the best way to go about it. Oh, 
And that opens up like maybe a little bit of a uh, biome choice. Like, okay, I know for a fact I really suck at these samurai. So I'm gonna go to whatever the other map is. Oh, wow. Yeah, so these monsters are all attacking me. Uh, but keep in mind, they're frozen. <laughs> which is uh, not specific to Jin, but Jin has it built into his kit. So, like, if I was using anybody else there, like, they might have kill pressure, but they may not have the crowd control that Jin does. It's gonna be an event right now. Oh, yes. We do not meet the requirements. I am only getting two negatives with no positive. All right, that's sick. Oh, did I just troll? If I don't get, um... That's really bad. If I don't get a rest, then we might die here. Blade rings now deal damage multiple times instead. The total damage is increased. And we have like double blade run. Does it overwrite double blade run? At high entropy, you get gold events. Yeah, but I gotta worry about the fact that we might not get a rest period. Ooh. The summon looks really sick. Yeah, as much as like pushing for corruption is probably like the pro way to go. Unfortunately, I gotta push for wins. It, rather than high score chasing. Once I get a consistent win rate on Jin, then I can push for diamond rank as much as I want. Oh, we might not need to do that anymore. I think they just died of that. It's a lot faster output, too. As long as I hit my R1 button, we have good damage coming out of that, too. All right. If we don't hit rest, I think we lose. 300 entropy? Only 50 seconds to win? Please don't fall. I'd rather you hit me so you don't fall. Okay. Oh my god. Remove all positive corruptions and gain lots of negative corruptions. Entropy is maxed out, which it already is. What are my positives right now? Oh wow, I can't actually look. I see MP costs. I don't think I can. Like, we're already at maximum, but I already have a ton of negatives. Wow, crap. I, sh I should have taken it. Oh my god, I should have taken it. Because we get rest anyway? Oh, that would have been <laughs> absolutely free. 
All right, chat. Remember, you won't get punished. Just go for it. I was about to say I'm safe here, but apparently not. Oh my god, I hate that it does 600 damage. Can you not dodge through that? Oh my god, I think I cancelled it. No, I don't think you can dodge through that. Then that's what I was aiming at just then. Alright, cost me two health pots, which is like mostly my bad. Five things I wish I knew. Alright, so actor, Crystal Moon, three synergies on that. Triple Jump has a synergy, that's funny. Yes, yeah, so that would be this one, which is more unsheathed tech. There's this one too. Oh, it's a wall of text. Upon sheathing, use up attack to trigger ice shattering instead of Fubuki. Um, and you get some iframes for it. Upon she unsheathing, if you immediately use Sekajin, which is down square, the attack gets faster. You can also press basic attack multiple times. Freaking wall of text? Still has the rhythm game. That looks sick. It looks sick, I'm not gonna lie. So that's just faster in general. And you can go into an up slash. Doesn't have the sheath though. It's just actor assault is so hard to pull off. It's like super flashy though. Sick boss just then. <laughs> I, I want to say that's the hardest boss in the game. There is stuff that I die to otherwise. Didn't get the timer. Oh, wait, I got it. I thought it was 20 minutes. It must be 25 minutes. Oh, we have move tech? Unfortunately, now I have to press up square. Oh, wow, really? I didn't have to press up square before. Why do I always have intermittent butterflies? It's like I am just cursed to have butterflies my entire life when I play this game. I was about to say, if you don't die to that, I'm gonna actually scream. It's like, I sincerely hope that all this was required to win. 
I feel like I could have just played Ragna, press triangle, and the monster dies. Like now I have to play Beat Saber at the same time. It, it, I, I am just making laughs at myself. I'm not saying that it's bad or anything like that. Please don't get me wrong. I'm just severely impressed on how much sauce they were able to give to this character. This shouldn't be bad. This is a bonus elite. Like, I don't have to do this. It does help, though. Oh my god, the fire. The heck? Get me out? Oh, you can't be on the ground at all. Oh, the fire! Chat, do I have Death Defiance? Does anyone know? If anyone plays this game, is there a way to tell if I have Death Defiance still? Okay, so killing that gave me... Final Boss has 30% less HP in Phase 1. It's the small cross next to your HP. Thank you, that's huge. Go back to the shop, heal. Uh, shoot. I highly doubt I need the HP mixture. I feel like, honestly, if you get to this stage and don't throw, you could potentially just outright win. All right, Legacy Black Hole. Blade Storm. But it's on two... It's on a separate side. So I cannot get this unless I get Accelerator. Shadow Tech. That's Shadow Dodge. Like the odds of the rest of that showing up is slim, but at least it gives me like double the odds. Uh, we can drop another. Shadow Punctures are upgraded. I think I have to do that. Just to get the damage going. And then let's wait. Corruption reduction by one round. So when you're at this stage of the game, you're gaining corruption over time. The corruption falls off maybe per encounter. You guys see when that number goes from a seven down to a six. Um, I have a good non-fight. Because I don't really have to move very much for a button, I swear. Famous last words, I guess. She's so much squishier than she used to be. Oh, wow, I didn't see her. Got my death defiance. I guess I greeted. Basically, she was like four hits away from death, so I assumed that was fine. Oh, we lost music. Is that my bad? Is 
This stuff shield it too? Um, killing monsters gives me money. Where's our music? What happened? All right. Another elite? I'm not going to go in without healing myself. Oh, we're not doing that anyway. I feel like going into a Rakane is probably a throw. All right, so we'll heal. Um, this... Oh, we went down to six. I wonder when that moved. Uh, shouldn't you only do the one round reduction right before leaving? Because you can still gain more. I feel like you don't really gain more. Because, like, I'm going in here with very, very little, um, en entropy. So the odds of me actually reaching the point where I gain, like, a ton more, I feel like just is very, very slim. Uh, so we killed another elite. We have reduced HP in second phase. Honestly, I feel like I could just go into the boss right now. Going for more elites is probably a chance to fail. This gives us a negative. Oh, we gotta find the health pot that's on this map. Reduce basic attack damage. That sucks. We didn't find the health pot. It could be in bottom right. I have two health pots right now. The boss has like 60% less HP. Desperate Darkness? For every 50% missing HP, deal more Umbra damage. Uh, we don't know whose HP they're talking about, but it's gonna activate, I'm sure. Dash Dagger. Like, we are not getting that. Like, I guess technically we can't get a red anyway. Alright. Let's wrap this up. Like I said, I feel as though if you can get to this stage, as long as you don't blow it on one of the elites, the odds of success are like fairly high. You only need to heal once or none if I'm good at the game. Thank you. Yeah, I, I feel good at this point. That goes twice? Please get out of there! Look at that moonwalk! Alright, phase two. Oh wow, I thought I could get close enough to use my uh my combo. I'll heal here. I got hit during that. Wrong way, buddy. He actually spun around to me? I'm gonna die to this. Jeez. <laughs> I almost threw, I feel. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Oh, what are we keeping? This should be fine. In the event that I don't want to play Ren for whatever reason. Alright. Finally, we pick up a win on Jin. I don't know why, but... 
everyone else seems infinitely easier to me than playing Jin. Even Kokonaway. Like, I just got out of a completely free Kokonaway win. And it felt like a completely different game. We have all these other ones, which some of these are wins. But the game has changed so much over time that, honestly, they should have just refunded me the money for each one of these. Because they're all, like, obsolete at this point. Uh, but either way, like, it's a very cool game. It satisfies my need to do combos in the action roguelike, where, like, all other action roguelikes are just pump damage up, press button, and the monster's dead. There is a little bit of that in this game, but only certain characters kind of have that kind of gameplay. But either way, very, very cool game. Definitely can't wait to see more as it goes through early access. And we'll always revisit this because I honestly, I could use any excuse to play Entropy Effect.